Charles Goodman was the architect and Alcoa, which is Aluminum Company of America, commissioned him to, in essence, make these sort of almost like a Sears Roebuck type of mass produced home. And so Goodman polled people, asked them what, what they would want in a home. And in the end, they came up with this Alcoa Carefree Home. We believe there's about 24 of them that were built around the country. And this one was one of the most original. It really called to us that we would become the wards of this house and to try to restore it as much as we possibly can. I've loved Holland Hills for as long as I can remember. My husband and I are both real estate agents with the Poole Braun team, and we merged with Sandy Poole, who lived in the neighborhood back in 2006. And we have literally just passionately fallen in love with this neighborhood. I think it's one of the most preserved mid-century modern neighborhoods in the metropolitan area. And they've worked really hard to make sure that these houses don't have bad additions on them, don't have gridded windows, um, and that they really keep within um, the aesthetic of what mid-century modern was. This house was supposed to cost 30, 30-ish thousand dollars. And so the idea behind Echo was that we we're gonna build these houses all across the country. So there are only two Alcoa houses that we know of on the East Coast. So there's this one, and there's a really beautifully preserved one in Rochester, New York. This one I think is particularly unique because Charles Goodman designed it, and of course he designed the whole Holland Hills neighborhood. So it's really special that it's within this neighborhood that he did. And the rest of them are out west, in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Portland. I've been in communication with those owners. I have diligently reached out to them, and we've had lots of conversations about things that worked for them, beams that they maybe had to replace, how they sourced out things in this house. Ultimately, I kind of feel like now I'm the source for them because I'm having to do so much of it. Again, $20,000 to build for a normal house. This was supposed to be $30,000. They ended up costing 60 something thousand. That was just way too much money. So the project failed pretty miserably. Some of the builders even sued Alcoa because they had spent so much time and energy and it just wasn't sustainable. So it's my understanding that this house sat empty for several years because nobody could afford to purchase it. 